I originally got these open end swivels for the sheer fact that I wanted to put a swivel in front of my 5 8 uh, slab spoons that I use so much of here in the St. Johns River, Jacksonville, Florida. These really do enhance the action of the slab spoon where prior I was taking and tying a loop knot in here and that was fine but then if there's anybody as you probably all know if there's anybody using a spinning rod uh, anything that spins and flips around and wobbles and twists you need a swivel now of course I could put a split ring in front of the slab spoon or any spoon such as this which is my flutter spoon this is good for shallow water applications and throwing right into the grass and things like that and burning it right out of the grass and I put the little swivel right in the front there okay I had to open it up a little bit because I'm trying to keep these swivels as small as possible okay it still moves around on there good but I had to open it up a, a little bit just to get around this thicker hook diameter I'm finding that wherever I can put a split, a split ring I can attach this small little tiny 30 pound class rolling swivel I can even put it on the front of one of my favorite topwater lures. The primary application though was to put them on the slab spoons that I use almost daily. There they go again. You don't have to be using spinning gear to enjoy the extra action that you get and the spinning you get out of a slab spoon like this. We vertical jig these in pretty stiff current. These are 5 eighths ounce. Here's one that is commercially made that's 5 eighths ounce. These are the sizes that I started with. That's a little number 7 30 pound class. Larger ones are coming. Number 5's are coming. And it'll be, they'll be a little bit bigger to fit around heavier uh, wire on the front of jigs and lures and things like that but at first I wanted the whole purpose was I don't like split rings as you notice on my slab spoons I use a siwash hook an open eye siwash hook and I just crimp that on well I took the same idea where I didn't want a split ring and I wanted an open eye tiny little swivel and that's where the idea came from so these really do enhance the uh, the action of the lure and for any of you Texas slab spooners out there this can really help you out too these beautiful little swivels come in 20 packs for eight dollars that is probably like the most competitive price there is around with free shipping so if you're a Texas slab spooner and I know there's literally hundreds and hundreds of you out there and you like taking your slab spoons and doing just what I do because I learned what you do I learned what I do off of you guys so between a little flutter spoon like this all the way up to a top water lure yes at one point just to get around here I did open up the opening in the swivel I opened it up just a little bit so I could slide this on and then carefully crimp them closed no split rings no extra hardware needed I just wanted a swivel to be able to put on just like I put on these siwash hooks. When I originally got a whole bunch of slab spoons at one point, they had 
They had split rings in the front. They had split rings in the back. They had treble hooks on it. For me in salt water where I'm fishing, I want the ultimate in simplicity. So I'm taking a whole bunch of my 5 8 slab spoons and I'm putting, just like I do with the hook, I crimp the hook on and now I'm crimping on my open end number 7 30 pound class swivel. If you'd like to have some of these and try them out for yourself, like I said, they come in 20 packs for $8. It can be found on eBay. Free shipping. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.